Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video. Guys, today we are going back to the Black Dragon Tower. I'm going to use this very team in order to uh, clear battle number 80. As you well know, I spent some uh, real money on some packs so that I have some Black Dragon gear in the first place. So I doubt uh, considering this and considering the team I'm going to use that battle number 80 is going to be a huge obstacle for me, but still uh, I want to do it. So. I have some rough idea on what to expect uh, going onwards in this tower. So battle number 60 was challenging, it, it really wasn't extremely hard but it was challenging so let's see what's going to happen in battle number 80. Uh, now I already explained that the Black Dragon Tower is pretty nice, the fatal difficulty because in a way uh, you are getting a very nice uh, equipment guaranteed and two diamond characters for about roughly between 2,200 and 500 souls, really depending on uh, how many souls you get in the process. I mean, until you get to battle 100 and battle uh, 200. So, uh, well this is quite awesome, by the way. Roughly between 1,000 and 1,200 souls per diamond is pretty, pretty decent. However, there is something which I, uh, I feel obliged to have to mention. Guys, the Labor Day is coming. Labor Day is in two weeks. You know, I'm not a Warner Brothers employee, but I am 99.9% .9 sure that they are going to release uh, a sale for Labor Day. And Labor Day is in two weeks. So, I don't know what to advise you. If you have a lot of souls, then go for it, refresh the tower. If you don't have souls like at all, what I would advise you is to stop refreshing it or just refresh it once and save the remaining of your souls uh, so that you can have something for Labor Day. And then, eventually, if you pick some nice diamonds, you can use them in your collection and proceed uh, with uh, refreshing the tower. That should be something nice. Still though, I cannot be 100% sure that there will be uh, a discount. I think there will be one, but I cannot guarantee it. I'm not a Warner Brothers employee, I don't work for Netherland, I just have a hinge. Just... <laughs> okay. Uh, so... Uh, Yep, this is the thing. When it comes to my situation, I have uh, saved a lot of souls, so it's it's okay for me. I can uh, afford refreshing two of the towers at the same time, and still I'll have enough souls so I can uh, take advantage of the eventual uh, sale coming on Labor Day. If it comes, but I'm almost 100% sure that it will come. So, when it comes to the tower itself, uh, if you're getting a lot of coins, that's perfectly normal, guys. It just gives coins. I mean... <laughs> I really hope that uh, after Battle 100 it will stop giving coins that frequently because it's getting annoying. But still, coins and everything else that you obtain in the process is just a bonus. After all, once again, you're getting a diamond and an epic piece for about 1,000 to 1,200 uh, 1, souls, which is pretty nice. Remember the anniversary pack, which was so good? Uh, this anniversary pack was coming for 1,340 souls per diamond, and that was pretty nice. And in this tower, sorry about that, but uh, you know, blue stacks lags every time when I lose zero special one. But I have a feat of strength uh, quest, so I have to do that. Oh my god! Okay, I will just keep doing it. But definitely, I have a quest to kill some zeros with my uh, hailstone scorpion, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Yep. So the coins is something normal, unfortunately. Uh, thing is though, if you're playing Kano Tower, I noticed that uh, almost every bot, uh, boss with a... I noticed that almost every single uh, boss battle, you get some nice uh, Black Dragon gear. So far I got just uncommon ones. Uh, but I believe that the further you go on the tower, in the regular difficulty, the better uh, Black Dragon gear you're going to get. Obviously, they won't give you epic, but I believe at some point after a boss battle, you're going to get a rare gear. And this is something they actually disclosed uh, on their original website. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't say actually at which boss battle this is going to happen, but if we're getting uncommon gear in the first few battles with bosses, I guess that after battle 100, you're going to get uh, uncommon, not uncommon, but a rare gear, which is still pretty nice. So if you have tons of souls, uh, you can also refresh both of them. That's what I'm doing. Uh, for now, I'm not quite sure whether I will keep doing this after I uh, 
finish the towers for the first time. Probably after I finish both towers for the first time I'm going to keep refreshing the uh, the fatal difficulty tower because I don't have really uh, this tremor and basically if you refresh it every single day for the full duration of the event and uh, considering the fact that they will probably extend the event like they did for the previous two towers uh, you can refresh the tower eight times which means that if this is correct, in the end of this event, I'm going to have my Black Dragon Tremor Fusion 7, which is pretty nice. So I will pay roughly about 2,000 or 3,000 souls per a Tremor, uh, considering that also I'm going to get other diamonds eventually and uh, some Black Dragon gear. So yes, I, I feel that this is kind of okay, because currently I have two of the Black Dragon characters maxed out, uh, Kano and Cabal, and if I and to extract Tremor from the pack, I have just 4% chance, which is really, really low. And that's why I'm going to uh, refresh the heck out of this tower, because I really need Tremor. And I'm going to get it cheap compared to opening packs. Okay, kill him. By the way, I didn't show you my talents for this team. Basically, this team is focused on special 2. So, I'm going to do a lot of special 2. And I'm going to cripple on tagging and so on and so on. Originally, I used classic Raiden, but it seems that they kind of uh, made sure that his passive doesn't work against bosses. Uh, so, in a way, classic Raiden, he's still good. He still has unblockable special 2. However, his special 2 is not fully unblockable, only part of it is unblockable. When it comes to Sub-Zero though, the full special attack is unblockable, the entire special attack. Even though I don't have Sub-Zero maxed out, I just need one copy. Uh, it is really annoying because I did uh, the Link Wayne Tower 6 times and I got 0 Sub-Zeros, MK11 Sub-Zeros of course. Uh, this was the worst luck imaginable. 6 times, 0 Sub-Zeros, considering that Oh my god, why do you lack on this special attack? Considering that the chance you have for this of zero is about 30%. And I got him zero times, guys. Very bad luck. Okay, so I will kill this Grandmaster of zero using my Scorpion. Because uh, he needs to kill some zeros. And also I have a Feats of Strength quest for special ones. <laughs> so I'm going to do two, why not? Alright, so we cleared all battles and now we have to face the bosses. I am focused. I am very focused because I have to face the boss now. Uh, hopefully, okay, some nice gear. So hopefully, uh, probably the boss is going to give as a reward the basic gold character. Probably, I don't know, let's see. For me it doesn't matter though because, okay, they've all maxed out. Okay, that seems like something that can be actually challenging remember though if you hurt them but you didn't uh, win that's fine because uh, the damage you dealt is kept so the next time you face them they are going to be wounded uh, so if you don't beat them from the first time you can try second or third or fourth it doesn't matter I doubt that if you have fully maxed out go team uh, I doubt that it's going to take you more than two two tries I don't want to uh, check it today for the obvious reason that uh, I want to finish the tower as fast as possible. Oh my god, this... <laughs> uh, so, uh, I don't want to do it today, but the first time I clear the, the tower, I will try to finish it with uh, regular golds without any gear. Alright. Blue Stacks officially hates MK11-0. Alright. Okay, special 2 for free. So great. Okay, I, I'm going to uh, destroy this team. Now, granted, I have Black Dragon team, uh, sorry, Black Dragon gear, and I have this amazing team, so I don't regard this as an amazing achievement. Uh, but uh, it is still, it is still kind of difficult. I have to admit, Lucian doesn't have a lot of Black Dragon gear, and you can see that he doesn't really do huge damage to this Kano. And we're talking about uh, fully maxed out diamond, but you can see. 200k, it's perfectly achievable. Okay, let's finish this guy. 
Probably I should have showed you my gear. Probably I will after the end of this battle though. Alright, let's see the reward. Alright, yeah, basic gold. So, it's still okay though. Touch is us, why not? I'll take that. Uh, this will decrease the overall refresh cost of the tower. So, unfortunately for me, I didn't get uh, anything. I still have two battles to go. Yeah, let me show you my gear. So, we have uh, Lucain, who has Rad Hammer, uh, the Living Dead, uh, Red Headband, and this is his only gear that he has. Uh, it still gives him 85% damage boost, which is huge. And uh, the other two guys, this guy has some. Um, Maxed out uncommon gear, which gives me 150% damage boost, that's really huge. Uh, another 75% damage boost, and another 40. So, roughly about 200% more damage. And uh, MK11 Sub Zero has some um, epic gear for 75% damage boost, and this one for additional 80 and 98. Uh, if you are playing this without spending any money, up until this point, probably you're going to get one or two pieces of gear, so your buff will, damage boost will be about roughly between 50 and 70 percent or something like this. Or you can get extremely lucky and don't get any piece up until now. It's it is unfortunately possible, guys. So I would advise you, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, just buy one or two of the Black Dragon packs. They're pretty nice. They offer decent value, and you can get an epic piece. If you don't want to spend any money though, then it's going to be a little bit challenging, if you don't have a fully maxed out gold team. If you do have fully maxed out gold team with good gear, it doesn't have to be Black Dragon uh, gear, then I guess uh, you can clear this battle at number 80, pro probably at 2 tries. I would advise you to pick uh, Disablers and Power Drainers, such as for example Johnny Cage. For example, 3 Johnny Cage with weak point attacks will be pretty nice because your enemies will be snared all the time, so you can uh, kill them one by one. And uh, for example, in the previous battle, oh, are you kidding me? For the previous battle, Cabal uh, was the starter of the enemy team, which is pretty horrible. So, what you have to do is just near him and just kill him. And you can achieve that with regular goals. Uh, once again, I didn't want to test it now because I want to finish the tower as fast as possible so I can show you the last uh, tower uh, fight. But on the next one, I'm going to uh, use regular goals to regular gear so I can show you how uh, you can do this. Okay, final battle. I don't know what to do, obviously I'm going to kill them. <laughs> Alright. Alright, this talent of Daniel Champion is huge, really. Because having special 2 for free is amazing. It's just 10% but it's still something. You can feel its effect, it's really huge. Okay, so let me see what I am going to get in the end. Tomorrow, guys, by the way, expect another video. Uh, this time I'll be doing battle 100, so wish me luck. I really want to get a diamond that I don't have maxed out. Oh my god, coins. Okay, guys, so this will be all for me for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, if you're spending your souls on this tower, it is okay to do that, but please keep in mind that Labor Day is coming and this is huge. Until then, Take care, guys. Goodbye. Perfect.